again and welcome to Peter's Marine Service. Today I'm going to show you a 1996 Sea Ray 230 Signature Bow Rider. Uh, very nice boat, very spacious inside. Uh, you'll, you'll get a nice feel when we get inside the boat. But what I'd like to point out the outside is the gel coat's actually in pretty nice shape. Uh, the color is really good. A couple of small little surface things, but it is a 96, but overall condition on the outside gel coat is actually pretty good, uh, which you'll see when you hopefully come to take a look at it. Uh, we have this sitting on a brand new Venture I-beam trailer, brakes on both axles, a nice setup underneath the boat and uh, really supports the boat well and it complements the look of the boat as well. The boat is bottom painted and we put a fresh coat on the bottom here. What was nice about this boat is it's got a nice platform on the back for hanging out on the back or for a uh, staging area for water sports or whatnot. Uh, out drive, you can see, is in very good condition also. We put a skeg guard on it to just finish everything off real nice. But the overall condition as a 96 is in very nice shape. We put new anodes on the out drive. Again, new trailer. Uh, really looks pretty nice. You'll see that when you come to take a look at it. Nice ladder that hangs down inside the boat. Outside the boat, rather. Very easy to get in and out of the back of the boat. You can see here. As I mentioned before about the swim platform, you kind of get a look here. Nice area here for uh, well, for hanging out. Got a nice soft swim platform, uh, sun pad on the back here. Hopping in the boat. You'll be able to get a look about how big this is. And actually, this boat has the high-low aft jump seats. What's nice about that is these seats come up form a sun pad all the way across the whole back. So you kind of get an idea. you got a nice large sun pad when you want it, but if you want to entertain more people, now you have more seating down inside the boat. And notice the uh, enormous amount of room inside here. Tons of space inside this boat. Um, you, could, you could easily have eight, nine, ten people on board and, and really be comfortable. Not a lot to uh, uh, you don't have to be tripping over each other inside the boat. So plenty of room if you wanted to bring an onboard cooler that would easily fit right here. Or if you're doing the water sports stuff, you can easily move stuff around and not be in each other's way. Another nice feature about the boat here is a nice little table that pulls out. So you got some cup holders here. You can put your uh, sandwiches and whatnot right in the inside of the boat here. Carpeting is snap out. Again, this boat is a 96, but what I could say is the carpeting material is actually in very nice shape. Um, for a 96, I don't see any cuts or anything on it, but it... Uh or you easily have seating forward and back. And again, just to point out the amount of leg room inside here, I can easily sit here and there's tons of space behind me for the person in the other seat and, and this does go forward a little bit more as well. Bimini top for shade. This stores in this position and this goes forward up and over the windshield. So you got plenty of room. You could easily stand up underneath it and it provides ample shade inside the boat. Ski storage down inside the floor here. Very deep, very long. I mean, you can easily put many skis, a wakeboard, uh, extra life jackets and things will easily fit down inside there. Driver's side bucket seat. Again, leg room. I can't stand it enough. The boat is very big. You have a lot of room inside, plus a lot of depth inside here as well. You feel like you're down inside the boat. I think for getting into some rougher water, you'll be pleased with the way the boat handles. Uh, years ago, we put a 230 bow rider on the local lake for us to use and it was uh, it was really enjoyable in the rough water. You really felt like you had something underneath you. Tilt steering for comfort. This seat does adjust and go forward to make yourself comfortable either sitting up or, or back. Gauges are nice and easily viewable right here. Uh, very easy to see. On the port side, built-in ice chest. A 12-pack with lots of ice would easily fit inside here. Glove box right here as well. Plenty of room to walk through. You kind of get an idea of the depth too when you, when you see this. See how high this is on me. Of course, I'm only three feet tall, so it really makes a little bit of a difference. But no, you get the idea. Very deep inside here. 
loads more storage down on this side. Uh, boy, you could easily you could put maybe an extra tube or some other things inside here. Um, towels and whatnot. Plenty of room to put this stuff. And again on this side again, more storage down inside. Up in the bow, loads of seating. Uh, you can easily sit two people very comfortably. More storage down inside here and underneath the seats. And as I'm looking around here, the, the condition of the vinyl is very good. I don't see any cuts or, or tears really to speak of. Um, it looks good. It's not really dirty. It, it's, it's, it's really in nice shape. Again, when you talk about a 96, you know, visions go through your head as to what, what's the condition like. And I can say that when you're looking inside here, it, it has a, a, a much newer look to the interior. It's in very good shape. Up in the front, we have dedicated anchor storage as well, plus an anchor rack. That, that, that anchor would just sit down inside there very easy. It'll sit on a rack, and you can get it out and easily throw it overboard. Uh, what's nice about this is that you keep all the, the line and the wet and the grime from the anchor up in here. You don't have to bring it back inside the boat. One thing I would like to put, point out is, uh, is in the engine. The, uh, we put a brand new engine in this boat. It's a 5.7 liter fuel injected. V8. It'll come with one year warranty on it and uh, really adds to the boat. So you'll start out with zero hours on this and you can uh, you can break it in just like a brand new boat. So it's really quite an, uh, an opportunity here on this boat. Get a lot of the features of a new one with the engine and the trailer and whatnot without spending a fortune. Great starter boat for somebody, especially if you're using it down on the bay or on big water. The boat can certainly handle that. We'd really like you to take a look at this. If you give us a call, we'll gladly go over the details. Thanks again. My name is Ted.